So uh, good afternoon. Uh, my topic for this week is for solo travelers in Jeju Island. Um, I chose this topic based on my personal experience in Jeju. Actually, my first solo trip was to Jeju Island two years ago. And I went there for about 10 days. And when I said that, um, all of my friends and my uh, family said, what is there to see for 10 days and how, how can you go alone, um, that kind of questions. But I really enjoyed myself when I was in Jeju. And in order to prepare for the trip, I searched a lot of stuff online. I looked at blogs for um, those good restaurants and I searched for guest houses, a lot of um, a lot of them actually. There are about 500 guest houses in Jeju. And even though I traveled to Jeju a lot of times since I was little with my family, I only stayed in those hotels and resorts. I went to po uh, really popular tourist places, but I haven't seen uh, the real Jeju Island um, is what I thought when I went there because there is so much to see and even if you stay for a month or two months you still have new things to see so I um, this today I'm going to recommend or give some advices for those solo travelers in Jeju Island um, that's uh, that's a quote from my favorite, one of my favorite writer. Um, she said, "Anything we fully do is an alone journey. We well, can apply to our lives, but um, when we uh, go alone, we really engage ourselves into this um, trip because you don't have to care about the person you're going with." you are just by yourself and you have the whole freedom to yourself so you get to decide uh, everything it's um, fully your choice so um, my advices uh, are gonna be about these four things safety, transportation, um, interaction with other people and how to eat and sleep so first safety um, I don't know if you know about this device, but it is actually provided by the regional government of Jeju Island and it's a device for safe travel and it is, uh, you can rent this at this Jeju International Airport arrival floor. There is a tourist information uh, center and they don't advertise it, but if you go up to the person and say I want to rent the device uh, for safe travel, it's free and um, you just have to write down some dates and you need your ID card but you don't need to give them the ID card and you need the deposit of 30,000 won but you get it back when, once you um, give back the device after you finish your trip so um, how this works is that it has a camera <laughs> on the front and um, if you press the button for like a few seconds it makes this beep sound and it sends your GPS to um, like police, local police offices and to um, so they can track you if you're in danger. So it's a very useful device and it's um, it's easy to use. So it's very um, accessible for everyone. And next one is that I recommend if you're traveling alone. Um, to go on foot uh, or, and use buses rather than cars because uh, most people think that if you go to Jeju you have to rent a car but in fact the public transportation especially buses are very uh, comfortable and convenient to use because um, unless you're going to um, into the mountain area the, along the coastline, the buses run every 15 minutes or so, so if, if, even if you miss it, you don't have to wait for hours. Mm -hmm. And um, if you travel on feet, you get to see a lot of stuff that you can see while you just pass by um, driving a car. Um, 
So I really recommend you use uh, buses and feed um, if you want to see the real Jeju Island. And um, the buses, you can use this uh, transportation car that you use every day. That works also, and it's a little cheaper in, compared to Seoul. Um, next is making friends. But, um, well, you can make a lot of friends if you're using guest houses, but I recommend this, uh, it's a, it's kind of a program, uh, provided by Ole, uh, Center. Um, uh, if you're walking, if you're planning to walk on Ole Trail, there's this program called, uh, Walk Together. And so every, almost every day, they have this voluntary leader who can, who is gonna, um, uh, take you uh, while you walk the trail, so it's safer, and you get to meet a lot of uh, strangers if you're if you join that group. Mm -hmm. And the information is always posted up on the website, so it's really easy to get the information. And um, so eating and sleeping. Mm -hmm. Well, if you go alone, alone, eating is a huge problem because you don't want to be alone in the restaurant in the corner having a meal to yourself but um, I recommend that you use marketplaces in Jeju um, there's the five day market in Jeju but also there are the everyday markets and if you go in there and take a seat in the small um, food place you, everyone eats alone and you don't have to be the stranger and also these local people um, provide you with these uh, local food that are really authentic and um, there are a lot of blogs about uh, good places but those are mostly for tourists and if you go to marketplace you can see a lot of local people who provide you with the real um, local uh, daily food and for uh, sleeping, I guess uh, a lot of people are using this, but guest houses are very convenient. But um, what you have to know beforehand is that there are multiple types of guest houses. Uh, some are really big, so you get to have barbecue party outside, and you get to uh, meet like 20, 30 other people. But some guest houses just uh, let people have individual time. So no one talks to anyone. <laughs> it's very quiet and peaceful. So you can choose um, if you whether you like the louder one or if you want to just stay and have your own time. And um, so these were my uh, four advices. And um, to conclude, I really recommend going to a um, solo trip to Jeju Island especially the fact that it's safer than going abroad alone um, and if you are too scared to go abroad alone then you can start from like domestic travel and Jeju Island is uh, compared with other uh, most of other countries it's one of the um, most beautiful mm -hmm. and most worthy mm -hmm. place to travel and actually um, the good thing about Jeju is that on a sunny day, if you take a picture, mm -hmm. even with your phone camera, mm -hmm. it's it's like a real art picture because mm -hmm. everything's so beautiful. Uh, so thank you.